My name is Mark Curtis and I'm from Sarasota, Florida. I am 31. Growing up, I had a, a, a really good life. My parents were together. I came from a, a, a great home. We had everything you could ever ask for and, and more, including loving parents. You know, I didn't get into that much, um, anything crazy in high school as far as drugs. I just you know, smoked a little weed here and there and drank. I ended up having surgery and it was the first time I had ever experienced a narcotic. I absolutely loved it from the first one I had. I didn't know at the time that I was starting an addiction and I didn't know at the time what it was gonna do to me. It just progressed from there. I didn't believe in myself anymore. I had tried to get clean. Um, I've been to 42 different treatment centers and detoxes. Everything under the sun was provided to me to try to get me off of this stuff and I couldn't stop. I didn't believe that it would ever be possible for me to get clean. I am very uh, involved in the recovery community. Almost all my friends are in recovery and have significant clean time. So when I'm going through something, they can help me through that. I did start a meeting on, a, on Monday nights um, with three other guys. We started a year ago um, and it was like 15 people. And now we, we have close to 80 or 100 attending every Monday. We have free pizza every Monday. And we have a food pantry for people that are in halfway houses and stuff that were in the situation that I was in. No matter how bad my day is, no matter how good my day is, nothing, nothing makes me feel as good as when I get done helping someone. And when I was out there using, people had Narcan available to save my life, uh, multiple occasions. I saw that the, all, all the things that, that Shatterproof does, the um, advocating for the Good Samaritan law and the Narcan and all these things and legislation just made me want to get more involved. Because of organizations like Shatterproof, we are starting to get a little bit better. There's starting to be more hope, there's starting to be more services, there's starting to be uh, more education and knowledge about addiction. Without organizations like this, there's no hope. We would have lost thousands of more people. The stigma would still be alive that addicts are never gonna be anything, that we deserve to be locked up, and uh, we're bad people. I realized that I can have a bigger impact and have ability to reach a wider audience than just dealing with a few people here and there. You never know who's going to get clean and when they're going to get clean. If someone's in active addiction right now and they think that it's not possible and they think about giving up, I would tell them that I was in that same position countless times. And because I didn't give up, I have an amazing life. Any addict in, in the entire world can lose a desire to use drugs and find a new way of life. Because that's what happened with me.